In 1907, the invention of bakelite brought about a revolution in materials by introducing truly synthetic plastic resins into world commerce. By the end of 20th century, plastic had been found to be a persistent polluter of many environmental niches, whether being mistaken for food by animals, flooding low-lying areas by clogging drainage systems, or simply causing significant aesthetic blight. Plastic have attracted increasing attention as a large scale pollutant 9.2 billion tons of plastic is estimated to have been produced from 1950 to 2017 and more than half of this plastic is produced since 2004 if this global trend of plastic demand continues it is estimated that by 2050 the annual global consumption of plastic will reach to 1100 million tons today The average consumer comes into daily contact with all kinds of plastic materials that have been developed specifically to defeat natural decay processes. Materials derived mainly from petroleum that can be molded, cast, spun or applied as a coating. Since synthetic plastic are largely non-biodegradable, they tend to persist in natural environments. This is why we are here with our initiative projects swarup to avert this plastic catastrophe Project swarup literally translating to form was initiated on 2nd September 2021 with the aim of working towards solving the plastic crisis by repurposing and rethinking the life of single use plastic products We envision a society committed to environmental protection and conservation on earth and stands for sustainable and socially just development. Swarup endeavors to lessen the impacts of surplus plastic waste by transforming it into a wide range of home decor and lifestyle products by engaging people belonging to the marginalized communities. Along with being a warrior in this climate fight, our project aims at the upliftment of the communities that we work with by providing them with better work and income generation opportunities. Now, let us take you into what we plan to make our products look like and the process in which our products will be made and manufactured. We plan to collect single-use plastic products like plastic bags and plastic bottles by holding collection drives. After the collection of plastic, we'll make sure about the sanitization of those plastics, ensuring that we don't harbor bacteria while transforming them into different products. Our products catalog include a wide range of products like eco bricks, planters, ottoman, and animal shelter. In this whole process we plan to train our beneficiaries to blend indigenous craft techniques with contemporary designs and thereby producing aesthetic pieces. The focus is on maximizing work by hand to encourage craftsmanship. Project Swarup ensures that there is use of sustainable and eco-friendly materials during transformation of discarded plastic into home decor. In India there are a number of people who do not have any decent source of income and may suffer from discrimination and subordination some of the marginalized groups that we aim to empower are women and the rag pickers under different economic conditions and under the influence of specific historical cultural legal and religious factors marginalization is one of the manifestations of gender inequality the harsh reality of today's world is that women are always marginalized relative to men in every country and culture In order to change this reality our project strives to involve as many women artisans as possible for decades rag pickers working in dangerous and unsanitary conditions have picked up what we throw away unfortunately most informal rag pickers remain invisible between 1.5 and 4 million rag pickers in india work without any social security health insurance minimum wages or basic protective gear predominantly women this army of rag pickers is the backbone of traditional waste management in most indian cities by employing skilled people who are in the need of employment will help develop our vision into action